And in tonight's crime alert, shocking images after a semi truck plows through a Kroger store in Millington. This was a shock. Police say the driver is 45 year old Clarence Carter from Nashville. WRG Shea Arthur is live tonight with details on this case and Shea, we know what happened, but any idea why? Hey Greg, hey Stephanie, this really is such a wild story, but some good news tonight. Investigators tell us no one was hurt in that case. Now court records show that Carter is here in jail tonight. No bond has been set, but as you can imagine, what he's accused of has a whole lot of people talking. Walking site, a semi truck cab smashing through the front of a Kroger store in Millington. In one picture, you see the truck narrowly misses boxes of food. Another shows the truck slightly lifted by the damage done after slamming through the building. Shoppers left stunned. I, I think that's insane. There's a lot of uh, uh, insaneness going on here lately everywhere and, and it's terrifying. Investigators say 45 year old Clarence Carter was the man behind the wheel arrested there on the scene. Here's what they say happened around 1145 Tuesday night. The driver came in and created some kind of disturbance inside the store. He left the building. Got in the rig, drove around the parking lot and then accelerated and crashed through the front entrance of the Kroger store. Thankfully, the store was closed at the time. We had to dismantle the truck to get the truck out of the building. The business back open today. Boards now covering the entrance. A surprising sight to shopper Robbie Watson. When I got in my truck, I looked and said, what the hell? <laughs> that was my reaction. I'm serious because I'm like, what? What can happen? But this case isn't quite closed. So our police department is is doing some further investigations. Uh, you know, if the truck was stolen, we, we're looking into that. Uh, because we have reports that the truck may have been stolen out of Memphis, so we're looking into those aspects of it and looking at what kind of history he may have had. Also, serious damage done, but those we talked to grateful no one was hurt. You really don't know where people frame a mind is. And whatever this man was mad about, I mean, there's, there are better ways to deal with it. It's a case we'll certainly stay on top of. And Stephanie Gregg, really, I asked, but it's unclear what that initial disturbance was all about. And Carter is set to be here in court tomorrow. Of course, we'll stay on top of that as well. And Chief Graves, who we heard from there in the story, says really in his 40 years of public service, he's never seen anyone drive a vehicle that large into a building. We're live downtown tonight. Shay Arthur, WREG, News Channel 3. Another chapter to this story. Hopefully we'll find out soon. Shay, thanks.